such an asshole. So this will be a truly testing because it's a Linux laptop with my old traveling gear. And we'll see. I might be coming in hot. There's no way to adjust this. Let's go to a request. If you have a request, you could go to assholeconsulting.com. And how appropriate a request today on Thanksgiving, where we all get to be pigs, including the people who work for a living. By way of explanation for the email address is something of a perfunctory introduction. I'm a second generation cop, uh, now retired. Um, been following you for years, bought your books, etc. In addition to my other hobbies, I've lately taken up the posting, the occasional article on Substack. I will link to that below. I apologize for not doing that. So I'm like, well, just send me the Substack. There's no reason for you not to get the traffic. I recently posted a piece I think overlaps significantly into your areas of interest. Castigating the slothful and the gluttonous. Yes, Democrats. As I have no interest in being on video or studying a YouTube channel, I thought I'd offer up the article, see if you, something you'd be interested in. The upshot is this. The total stored energy represented by the minimum to likely realistic amount of excess weight. Oh, so it's not even total we've spent. It's the excess weight that fat people on welfare are storing up in their bodies. Uh, accumulated by all SNAP, overweight, or obese SNAP recipients is the conversion equivalent between 191 and 373 Hiroshima bond, bombs. 2.9 to 5.6 megatons are enough to feed the entire population of the U.S. between 4,000 and 7,800 years. I don't know, that, 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 seems, that seems not to add up. If this sounds like good content to you, I'd be delighted. To forward the document, link to the research entailed mostly grokking. Yeah, that's that's where like when you say we can support a U.S. population for four thousand, seven thousand, eight hundred years. That's that's um what well, what's those are some fat people. So it's titled here: Taxpayer Funded Excess by Iconoclast Cop. Let's go ahead and read it. So there's a TikTok video going around of a black woman and the blonde braids. That were, okay, there you go. Right off the bat, you can like, there's where your money's going. Named Daniel Grant, who was crying later about how she is going to starve with our SNAP benefits. Before I explore one of the main issues I think we as a society need to confront with respect to what are called public welfare entitlements, I want to make a couple points about the video. She's so poor, she needs public assistance for food. How does she afford the very work? Thank you. Uh, she's arguably morbidly obese, I guess. She's at least 80 pounds overweight, every pound of fatty ad ad adipose tissue carries approximately 3,500 calories. If she is 80 pounds overweight, she's carrying 280,000 surplus calories. If she has an average level of daily activity, she's carrying 140 days and nearly five full months of surplus calories at 200,000 calories per day. If she is sedentary, as seems unsafe to surmise she has 175 days of calorie surplus at 100 1600 calories per day or just under six months conclusion conclusion she should spend about 40 dollars a month on fiber probiotics and multivitamin we know it's not going to happen why okay, okay democrats in general leftists in general other people as well but just people collect welfare ideological, ideologues of anything, I guess, but definitely one of the parasitic ideology of Democrats or socialism, whatever you want to call it. These people have no lives. There's nothing to do. And when you have no life, what you do is you got to stimulate your body some other way because your brain cannot tolerate doing nothing. Humans evolve to do something. And if you don't do that, <clears throat> then you start to get depressed. However, weakness is an equivalently strong force. So it's this battle between existentialism and laziness, and laziness in their case wins out in the end. That does not make the screaming in your head go away that you must do something with your life. So what they mostly do is they treat it and sedate it. How are stimulating other of the senses? They can do drugs, which I don't know what sense that is. This is a touch, feel. You feel good all around. Um, you can eat hunger. You can watch stupid amounts of dumb stuff. You can watch stupid amounts, uh, play stupid amounts of video games on four video games, four video games. And yes, surprise, uh, the people on welfare tend to be fat, even or, or SNAP specifically. I can't afford food, which is why you got videos now of truly stupid people if they were testifying they had this fat woman testifying i have four kids and i can't afford to eat and she's she's pushing about 280 
depending on how tall she is. They're so dumb they don't even pick up on the contradiction. Uh, and drink only water and be in no danger of dying five to six months hypothetically. Let's dig into the data. 40% of SNAP recipients are cl classified as obese, having a BMI of 30 or over. 31% of the general population of the U.S. is obese per data from 1999 to 2002. As much as an additional 25% of SNAP benefits are overweight, having a BMI of 25 to 29.9 per the data that that that. The percentage of SNAP recipients who are overweight or obese exceeds the representation in the general population. Based on more recent data from SNAP eligible women, may show higher obesity prevalence at 52% versus 40% and overweight prevalence of up to another 25%. <clears throat> uh, in 2023, 23.6 million women per... God, that's like 50 million people that are on it. Participate in its SNAP for 57.3% of all SNAP recipients and 43% were men for a total of 17.6 million. Of these totals, approximately 4.4 million men are overweight and another 4.4 million men are obese, 40 and 40% each. Of 3.9 million women, 27% are overweight and another 7.6 million are obese, 52%. These numbers are calculated and estimated based on 2001 to 2011 to 2021 USDA, CDC, NHANES. I don't know about that. Never heard of that. <clears throat> as well as USDA uh, 2023 data. Taking the average height of a man at 69 inches tall, women at 64 inches tall, this means that the average minimum excess weight of each gender is as follows. Man overweight plus 23 pounds. Man obese 20 plus 57 pounds. Woman overweight plus 21 pounds. Woman obese plus 51 pounds. Using these numbers, we can calculate a minimum total excess weight, adipose or fatty tissue carried by all overweight or obese SNAP recipients as follows. Well. Yeah, that don't even include the people who pay for their own food. That should scare you. Uh, man overweight, minimum total 101 million pounds. Men obese, minimum total 251 million pounds. Women overweight, minimum 81.9 million pounds. Women obese, minimum 386.6 million pounds. The total estimated minimum weight, which is the most conservative possible estimate for all overweight and obese SNAP recipients, is 821 million pounds, equivalent to the weight of roughly 110,000 10, adult African elephants or an additional 4.1 million average size adult Americans. But this is an extremely conservative estimate. In reality, the total excess weight of all SNAP recipients is more likely to be 1.1.8 billion pounds since the average BMI of obese adults is around 35 to 37, not 30. And every pound of fatty tissue represents about 35 to 1.7. So, right, I, I agree with it. I always, if I can, I take the very conservative estimates. So then if any... Fuckwick comes and tries, I'm like, dude, these are the conservative, like, there's a 98% chance it's worse than this. Like, this is your best case scenario. Trust me, I'm right. So at the absolute minimum, the overweight and obese SNAP recipients receive, represents the following. <clears throat> Between 800 million and one point, true likely midpoint, 1.6 billion. And you calculate into equivalent everyday terms of kilocalories. So the absolute million, uh, the absolute minimum of fat just stored up in SNAP recipients alone is the equivalent to 2.875 quadrillion kilocalories. On the higher end, it's more likely around 5.6 quadrillion kilocalories. Number of Big Macs, 500 cal kilocalorie each that could be made from the energy minimum that equals 5.6. Three two trillion Big Macs. See, I'd have to verify your math. Math. This seems like a lot of Big Macs. Seems like a lot of Big Macs. You might be off by an order of magnitude of two or, or three. Uh, we do the higher end, more likely we're at ten point three trillion Big Macs. Daily energy needs of the entire U.S. population, two thousand to two thousand. 50, uh, 2,500 kilocalories per day for 354 million, could feed the, year, the U.S. for 4,000 years, could feed the U.S. for 7,800 years. I'm, I'm, I haven't done the math. I'm lazy. But it would make a lot more sense if you were off by 1,000, three decimal points. I could see the current fat reserves 
of everyone on SNAP who is overweight feeding the American population for four years. I can't see them doing it for 4,000 years. <clears throat> and then you, you convert it to the number of Hiroshima bombs between 191, million, 191 Hiroshima bombs or 373 Hiroshima bombs. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the true scope of the abuse of SNAP. I mean, no one cares. <clears throat> People don't want to work. That's it. They're lazy. That's it. I... Look at what people will throw away for laziness. They'll throw away sex. They'll throw away love. They'll throw away their health. They'll throw away their lives. They'll throw away their happiness. People, especially Americans, love laziness. And, and the Democrat Party is just the, the party that happens to give them the excuse for it. And will pay for it as well. I didn't examine other forms of food assistance. I imagine there's a considerable overlap with the other food assistance program. However, the scope of burden on the American taxpayer isn't limited to having paid for enough food to feed an entire U.S. population for almost 8,000 years. Here are some other disparities in health impacts for SNAP recipients. Diet, type 2 diabetes, two to three times higher non-participants, contributes to 1,376 annual snap link death. Um, cardiovascular disease, 20 to 50% higher. 7,408 heart disease and 2,100 strokes death annually linked to SNAP cohorts. Higher weights of hypertension and hypercholesterolemia. 40 to 30 to 40 percent prevalence of metabolic syndrome risk up one to 0.5 to two times. Obesity drives elevated blood pressure and cholesterol snaps. Participants with these conditions save 2,700 a year in costs. They don't want, they are getting exactly what they want a life of existence. That's it. Sleep apnea and Joint issues, two times higher in obese SNAPS adults. That's what's going to kill them. <clears throat> Once you lose your sleep, it's over. Uh, obesity among SNAPS uh, recipients, obese recipients, drives between 173 to $200 billion in annual health care costs, 34% publicly funded. Yep. For anyone who argues that SNAP or welfare programs are not in need of reform or that more taxpayer money is needed to support the media in the U.S., you know how they are either terribly ignorant or they are lied. They're just trying to be popular. We, it all makes sense when you realize this country is a bunch of adult middle schoolers. That's it. That's all it is. And we need to end. We, we're going to, it, we are not industrious. We are middle schoolers. This is... This is the same group of people trying to tell you that fat chicks are beautiful. That That's how far we've come. Here's a link to the inquiry. There you go. All right, there you go. Let's see if there are any super chats. Actually, let's see the comments. Uh, 42 million people on Snap. Anyone? Great mic. Oh. Uh, is it coming in hot? Sorry to hear about it. It doesn't look real. All right, I'll play this back and I'll have my answer as to it. We got one super chat. Ken Rose, he says hi for five bucks. Thank you, Ken. Hello. And that's it. We will see you guys later. Toodles.